John Burrow scored two touchdowns in the first quarter, two in the second, one in the third. Very even space scoring. They have rolled up mucho yards on the ground. And they have dominated play. But the Wildcats have had a drive or two of their own. And now it's a draw to Bill Halleck. And it doesn't fool them too much. He may have made enough progress to get to the 45. And then back he comes under a big blue and gold charge. They'll spot it on the 45. Give Halleck about a yard, yard and a half on the play. And call it second down and still nine to go. Ramsey made a big fake on the draw. As he was going to throw the ball. But uh, Burroughs didn't go for it. Ramsey straight ahead to Jonathan Gott, and Gott peeling off about three or four, getting down in the neighborhood of the 36-yard line before Bob Cranston was in on the stop there. And along with him, big Alex Martinson, a defensive tackle. They'll spot the ball at the 41-yard line, and for the Cats, it'll be third down, about four to go for the first down. Jones comes out to the right side. O'Donnell to the left. Ramsey back to throw. Looking, has some time. Now he throws it, and it is way, way over the head of anybody. There was no Wildcat within about 10 or 15 yards of that one. I guess Jones was trying to come down to it, but he was, uh, was well overthrown. So it'll be fourth for the Cats on the 40-yard line. Troy Hockman comes into the game with a play. Eight minutes, 47 seconds left in the ball game and left in the Warsaw Wildcat unbeaten streak. They trail 35 to seven. They have the ball fourth down on the 41 yard line. They go in the shotgun, Ramsey back to throw, running for some pressure, throws the ball out here and it is incomplete. He was trying to hit Gary Jones again on the right sideline. Ramsey was under a lot of pressure. He was decked after he threw that ball. But the incompletion means it will go over to the John Burroughs Bombers, first and 10 on their own 41. Deer season is here. Deer hunters, get that deer puck. Been whooping it up all afternoon as well they should. Their team has looked magnificent. Edwards has Cranston and Lockmuller stacked behind him. They give the ball to Lockmuller, and he is hit hard by Jonathan Gott on the line of scrimmage. Boo Foreman comes in on top of that, and so does Daniel Martinez, and he gets no yardage at all. And that doesn't happen very often this afternoon to Bill Lockmuller. Second and 10, the ball still at the 41-yard line. Wildcats played the first half of this game a little like they were sleepwalking, but it was a little hard to tell. John Burroughs was coming off the ball very crisply, playing very good ball. And now John Burroughs is going to call a timeout. With nine minutes left to go in the ball game, I guess that's eight. It's a little hard to see the clock. We'll take a break here. It's John Burroughs, 35, Warsaw. It's in Warsaw's Eastgate shop. Just announced that the winner of this ball game, we don't know who that's going to be, is going to Columbia next week. Here's a pitch out to a second string halfback, and he's making lots of yardage around the right side before Carl Thomas brings him down. And we'll check the thing here and find that that is Brian Kim with the ball. Brian is a little bitty guy. He's a junior. And uh, we don't have any stats on these guys, but he, he looks much smaller than the others. And Kim made some good yardage. Came across midfield and down to the Warsaw 48-yard line. So some other guys having a chance to play a little bit. Cranston and Lockmuller on the sideline now, as they have had themselves quite an afternoon. The quarterback is Tom Donny, Donny, Tom Donny, and he fumbles the ball. Then he pitches it out, and it's interesting. And finally, I believe the Wildcats recovered. Donny pitched it out to uh, halfback there, who was uh, Darren Washington. The ball hit the ground, and the Wildcats recovered. So the Wildcats prove they're better than the Burroughs' second team anyway as they stop them and uh, get the ball back at the 48-yard line. Seven minutes, 39 seconds left in the football season for the Warsaw Wildcats who trailed John Burroughs 35-7. to 
they send Gary Jones wide out to the right, and they go in the shotgun. Officials have stopped action for a moment as they get the yard markers on the far side set. Ramsey in the shotgun. The snap goes by him. He has to go back and pick it up. Now he is under a lot of traffic. He's going to run, and now he throws, and it is almost intercepted. It was intended for O'Donnell at about the 35-yard line. Tom Kachukas was the closest man to the ball. He's a defensive tackle. I guess he's playing linebacker in there now. And it's an incompletion. Ramsey missed the snap and had to go back and pick it up off the ground at about the 40-yard line of Warsaw. Then he started to run around, was under a little pressure, finally unloaded the ball, and it went as an incompletion. In the shotgun again is Eric Ramsey. Has the snap this time, has some time. Throws it over the middle to Jonathan Gott. Gott with a beautiful catch down around the 20-yard line. A nice catch from a nice pass play for about 23 yards from Ramsey to Gott down around the 20-yard line. So a big gainer for the Wildcats down to the 20-yard line. Burroughs has kind of a mixture of first and second team in there. Back to Ramsey in the shotgun again. Still looking, 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 looking. Throws it out here, and it is in the hands of Hockman, and then he drops it at the five-yard line. Hockman had the ball on the sidelines at the five-yard line and then dropped the ball. Might have been out of bounds anyway, but I don't think so. I think he was in on the corner there. So that's an incompletion. The winner of this ball game goes to Faro Field in Columbia next Friday afternoon at 1.30. And they meet the winner of the Putnam County Butler game for the 2A championship. But for the second year in a row, the Warsaw Wildcats are going to end up as having made the final four, but that's it. And for the second year in a row, it's going to be John Burroughs doing the honor. Ramsey, under some pressure, is tripped up and knocked down. Back at around the 23, about the 33-yard line. And Ramsey very slow getting up after that one. Cole Thompson came in and made the stop on Ramsey. Made a nice diving tackle as Ramsey was dancing around looking for some time to throw the ball. Loss back to the 32. We'll make it third down and 23, and we've got timeout on the field. Wildcats going to call timeout with 5.26 left to go. I want to be a Warsaw Wildcat football player. I think yeah. when that happens, you got a program going. Oh, you know it. I bet he is a football player, too. Mm. Ramsey, under a lot yeah. of pressure, heaves the ball, cut out of bounds. <laughs> Eric Ramsey was under a lot of pressure, and he just let the ball go, and it floated out of bounds, as he just doesn't have time enough to throw it. So it's fourth down for the Cats, who... Got down to the 20 and a long pass from Ramsey to Gott, but now have been unable to move it any further. In fact, they've had it in reverse, and they've gone back to about the 33-yard line. Boy, the clock seems to move very slowly when you're losing, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like when you're in pain. You know how slow the clock goes? It's the same way when you're behind. Mm. Sun is shining very brightly, too very brightly, right in our eyes. Fourth down play, Ramsey, back to throw, back, 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 throws the screen over the middle, completes it to Halleck. Halleck dragging somebody forward, and he made a few yards, but nowhere near enough. He didn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. He got to about the 23, and that's where the Bombers will take over. John Burroughs out in front, 35-7, with five minutes left to go in this semifinal ball game for the 2A championship. The Farmers Bank of Lincoln has helped bring you Warsaw Wildcat football live on Ozark 98. The Farmers Bank of Lincoln is your hometown bank, offering full service in the lobby and the drive through Farmers Bank of Lincoln, member FDIC. Well, the Wildcats, of course, uh, got here by beating Kabul and Seneca the last two games. The California, the um, John Burroughs Ball Club, when they met California for the sectional final, only beat California 14-6. And I think that's where a lot of people felt 
that the Wildcats, who won over California 41-19, had a very good chance at beating Burroughs. The coaches kind of looked at the tapes and told me this Burroughs team is not as good as Seneca, but they certainly have been tonight. It would be interesting to talk to them next week and find out what they think went wrong. Maybe the team was just worn out. I don't know. But, uh, you know, how it goes. Uh, the feeling was that Burroughs had a little easier quarter to come out of with Scott City and some of the ball clubs up here than the Wildcats did, and that maybe Seneca had drained them a bit. But uh, we're not making excuses. Today, Burroughs has been the better team. Sweeping to the outside here with the ball is Scott Wright, and he comes up to about the 30-yard line. Jonathan Gott came over and made the stop on Wright. And we'll have a third down coming up with the ball at the 30-yard line of John Burroughs. They'll mark a 